all right what's up guys welcome to another sneaker review video and in today's video bro i am happy to say that i got j cole's signature basketball shoes i was surprised myself getting these shoes i did not think i was going to get these but anyways um what's the official name because i just call these like um the what's the rs dreamer okay so pretty much that's why i had it like um in my mind but i was like all right i was like gonna say the rsx dreamers and then the j cole signature shoes and and I think I did say, I was like, I looked them up on my phone and seen, so, I, you know, and I'm going to just give y'all a whole backstory about how I found out about these shoes. So anyways, man, I'm, I'm telling you, so I'm, I'm here, I am in this room, I am in this room getting ready to take a nap, and before I took a nap, I decided, you know what? Let me just go on the Foot Locker app and just, you know, see what different shoes they got. Because I hadn't been to Foot Locker in a long time. Like, I just hadn't really had no desires on buying those shoes. Like, I was just like, I think, um, I remember I got the Kybrid um, S2s. And then after that, I was just all like, I'm I'm done. Plus, the uh, stores that I was going to just didn't really have a whole lot of options. And so, surprisingly, my God, like, this option here, I was, like, I was surprised in this because this shoe sold out first day it was released. And this is also, like, the OG colorway. Like, this is the colorway that was originally released. So, I was, like, man, seeing that, I'm, like, oh, my God. So, anyways, um, and I thought it was going to be a situation. So, you know, let me just go ahead and just tell y'all anyway. So, I'm getting ready to take me a nap, going Foot Locker, seeing that they had this shoe. They had it. I started panicking. I hurry up and got out of bed. And I was just like, should I call them? Should I just go up there? I mean, they say they have the shoe. And I'm like, I don't even know what to do right now. So I'm like, okay, if I go up there and they don't have them, then all right, then I'll just, you know, we'll probably end up going to this uh, much more bigger mall that usually do have like a lot of different options of shoes and um, go get them there. Um, if they, if the store that I was going to go to, they didn't have them. So I'm like, I should have called, but I, man, I straight up, like, I played a, I gambled. I straight up gambled today. I was just like, you know what? Let me just go out. Cause I'm like, I, I can't, you know, um, I didn't even do that. I didn't even do that. I panicked so much, um, with these shoes. Like I was just like, I, I just say, I was like, you know, if I, um, if I didn't, um, see them, that was just going to give me some Red Bulls and give me no Red Bulls. So anyways, um, yeah, but no, I was like, I seen that they had them, and yeah, I, I straight up was losing it. As soon as I was walking to Foot Locker, so yeah, shout out to Foot Locker, but as soon as I was walking to Foot Locker, I can see them, like, on, like, the display things, like, in front of the store. So I, at that point, I knew then that they had them. Like, so I go up to the guy, ask him, uh, me and him, we got to talk about Seth Fowler, we got to talking about um, Beyonce shoes, the Ivy Park shoes. Then we start talking about Kuzma shoes. Um, yeah, we were talking about a lot of different shoes, but then I ended up getting these. I was happy. I had like I had like that like behind like the face smile, just like going crazy because I'm like, fam, I wanted to get these shoes when they very first came out, and to not be able to get them because it's like you know you have like those bots that just ruins it for everybody, and it's like, all right, well. Guess I won't be getting those shoes. And so to say that I officially have them, like, man, that's that's crazy. That it's honestly, it's still crazy just like looking at them being like, dang, I really do have J. Cole's uh, signature shoes. Even the box is dope too. Like, let me just show y'all the box and what it looks like. It uh um, but yeah, it got like J. Cole on the cover, got Dreamer um like a cloud, like just yeah, shout out, shout out to uh J. Cole, shout out to Puma. Um, these would be my second pair of Puma shoes. I did give away my first pair um, to some friends because they needed some um, shoes. And so I remember the uh, it was a, it was the RSX that I um, I think I reviewed those shoes. But um, I gave those away uh, because, yeah, there was like some friends of mine. They needed some shoes. And so I'm like, hey, I got y'all. All right. Don't even trip about it. So anyway, so to talk on this shoe. So let's just talk on the just different material that's just surrounding this shoe. So. It has like kind of like of a synthetic like suede on the back here. Uh, it yeah, it, it's um yeah, it kind of feels like a synthetic like you know suede. Like and then it has like a kind of like of a more of an authentic um suede here. Got some mesh going around, so it has like a lot of different material. Got some like rubber and plastic and um yeah, well mainly not plastic but main, mainly rubber. I don't know why I said plastic, but anyways um then yes of course rubber outsole. 
um really good traction like nah it feels uh like sliding just like doing that with your hand it's like it ain't just like you know just sliding down like it's like you like it got some grip to it all right so and then talking on the inside of the shoe very very comfortable very 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 comfortable um i see that's the thing that's I, <clears throat> excuse me that's what i almost did was go up half a size because at first they did feel a little bit tight when wearing them but then once i got to wearing them around the house and i was just like oh these don't feel that bad so i'm like i, I like these maybe it's just like a um a, a carpet versus like hard ground type thing but um no they i, I will recommend um staying true to size because they um either way it's going to be comfortable but if you do try on like a uh, like uh, like you do go up half a size then um, see how that feels. If it feels too loose, then go right back down to your true original size and, uh, yeah, overall see. But, no, um, these shoes, they're uh, really nice. Um, got, like, uh, um, just, like, that basic black. Like, that's the thing. I was like, I thought I was going to trip on that. But, no, like, this shoe, it stands out. It has, like, I mean, of course, you know, it has, like, this, like, orange, um, like, red going across it here. Got some yellow, teal, like blue, greenish, whatever you want to call that. Some purple, red on the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this shoe. I really am. And then the one thing, I'm like, see, I ain't the only person that does this because Weird Tester, he does it too. Like, that new shoe smell, it is so strong on this. I was like, man, let me just... That... I wish there was like a cologne or freaking some spray that I can have that just smells like new shoe smell because I'm telling you, people would just think like, oh yeah, that man, he got, I'm about to honestly though, if nobody else don't create it, I'm about to create it myself, but oh, then it has like some like um synthetic, like kind of like either, this is like supposed to be like a rubber or a synthetic like suede here um that's on the tongue and then also on the back where it says uh, dreamer and stuff, but then it also got like some reflectiveness so um yeah these are um these are pretty nice these are pretty nice the question is though because i know like the nba they trip about that reflective thing and like i feel like they doesn't have like a whole lot of like reflectiveness to the shoe but um i wonder what they trip about that because i'm trying to think like has there been any basketball players no there were some basketball players that played in these shoes um players wearing the dream uh rs dreamers rs dream would be worn on the court by puma hoops athletes such as kyle kuzma deandre um ayton danny green as they wrap up okay but it's like images though okay so there is like some white ones kuzma's wearing the og ones Ooh, those are nice they're like a galaxy um releases super mario sunshine dang when did those come out? Okay, well, there's the blue ones, but these, these black and, like, I like those. See, man, that's what I'm like. They need to, I wish I, there's, like, a store that just literally had, like, every single shoe possible. And they sold it at, like, a retail, like, price and things. But other than that, like, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with these. I'm, like, I'm liking them and stuff. You know, I, I, uh, I'm just looking because I'm, like, I don't want to get, I don't want to say that this is, like, the OG colorway. And then this was like some like, it looks like the OG colorway, but it's not the OG colorway. But no, this is the OG colorway. I remember when this shoe um, had very first like was released and it came out and this is the one that they were showing. So yes, this is OG colorway, but they got like a Super Mario Nintendo um, 64 colorway. Um, a few of them, of course, I just mentioned that. And then I think they had like some other ones. It was like a white and blackish um, uh, looking one. I think it was black. But anyways... Um, really nice shoe. A really, really nice shoe. I'm gonna have to give these, you know, I'm gonna have to give these a perfect 10 out of 10, because I like the colors. Um, I really do. I like how they feel. Um, and it's like, you know, it's a shoe where it's like, it doesn't even really have to like be broken in. Like, you just put these shoes on and you just either get the walking, playing, running, doing whatever you want to do in these shoes. And they have like a little bit of weight to them, just to let y'all know that it's not like a it's not a super heavy shoe, but it's also not a super light shoe because it's just this whole like bottom part right here is just pure rubber. So yeah, um, yeah, just you know, be warned about that. I don't know if people trip about that or something, but other than that, like um, inside the shoe is comfortable. Everything about this shoe is nice. I yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a perfect ten out of ten. I like it. I like it a lot. So shout out to J Cole. Um, this shoe it also retails at one. 
120, I think it was. 125, 120. Let me check real quick. Doesn't even say on the box. What kind of mess is this? It does not say on this box uh, what they retail as. Well, I thought, I thought they said 120. Hold on, let me check on the website real quick. Uh, okay, RS Dreamers. Cause I don't want y'all to like you know go up there 125. Okay, so and they're in. Man, I just I I love seeing that. Oh wait a second, they have whoa 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 wait 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 just a minute. When they have these like yellow like oh mids mids when they have these bro if they have these I knew it I knew it that's how that's how it always is it's like these yellow and black ones I think I remember when these yellow and black ones I like the mids though the mids ain't that actually that bad oh, I remember when the mids came out never mind I see I've seen these shoes before all right so but anyways um yeah go pick you up a pair of the uh, RS dreamers they are really really nice shoes I would recommend buying them and um yeah that being said i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace